In this first section, I want to cover the basics of e-cigarettes, sometimes referred to as vapes. I know there are a lot of different names out there, a lot of different brands, but the ones I want to talk about first are Fix and Juul. So these are just two examples of pod-based e-cigarettes. And you'll see that there are two parts associated with the device. You have the part with the rechargeable battery, and then you have this smaller part, which is known as the cartridge or pod. In the pod, you'll find the e-liquid or e-juice. Now you'll hear that I'm throwing out a lot of these different terms. Cartridge is the same as pod, e-juice is the same as e-liquid. So I just want you to be aware as we move forward in the presentation, there are a lot of different names for what I'm talking about or describing today. In that liquid or e-juice, you'll find chemicals such as nicotine, flavors, sugars. It's basically a formula that's created. And most of the time, it's helping deliver the nicotine. Are there chemicals helping to create this so-called vapor? What we do know about these cartridges and pods is that they come in an array of colors and flavors. And based on the research, we know that these are attractive to young people. Also, we do know that when young people were first starting to use Joel, a majority of them did not know that they contained nicotine. And they found out that over 60% of young people didn't know there was nicotine to begin with in Joel. Now here is a slide to really paint a picture of how things have changed from these older e-cigarettes. So what you're seeing on your right hand side is a mod system or a mod e-cigarette. And what you're seeing on your right hand side are some of the newer e-cigarettes. So this is a Juul, a Puff Bar, an Eon Stick, just a few of the discrete e-cigarettes. Now with these newer devices, they are using something called salt-based nicotine. Salt-based nicotine is a formula that's helping reduce the overall harshness of a throat hit. So why is that important? So someone may not turn, be turned off by it or may not even know how much nicotine they're taking in because of the salt-based nicotine formula. And the companies, when they were working on creating this, they didn't have to reinvent the wheel here. They basically looked at cigarette companies and what they were doing with nicotine research and found out a way to create something like this. Now this mod system on our right hand side uses something called freebase nicotine. So freebase nicotine doesn't reduce the harshness of the throat hit. Now these devices such as Puff and Juul contain anywhere from 41.3 to 68 milligrams of nicotine. So that is a lot of nicotine compared to something like a mod system, which may only deliver about 25 milligrams of nicotine per milliliter. But I just want you to look at the numbers here. These newer devices are delivering a lot more nicotine. Also, these newer devices don't focus on being refillable or customizable. The older versions really focused on being refillable and customizable. So there are different parts you can manipulate with the device and you'll see the differences in the size here. The mod system is a lot bigger and bulkier, has a lot more battery power to create thicker plumes or thicker clouds of the so-called vapor. Now right here is a picture of some water vapor because as I've been mentioning in the presentation so far, when we hear the word vapor or vaping, it may give someone the impression that it's just water evaporating. But what we know is that this is actually a mixture of chemicals. So an aerosol actually leaves behind a residue. So imagine someone who's breathing in this so-called vapor, which is a mixture of chemicals, and this residue is being left behind on, in their lungs. So moving forward in the presentation, I will be calling this a aerosol, or I will use the term aerosolize when I'm describing the process of the chemicals being heated up from the e-juice or e-liquid. Okay, so here are some key takeaways. I covered a few slides, but there are a few details that I don't want you to miss. We know from the first slide that the companies are trying to make these devices as attractive to young people, and that is done with the discrete design, the flavors and colors, which we know based on research is attractive to young people. So products such as Juul and Puff have more nicotine, and they've been able to deliver more nicotine in a less invasive way by using the salt-based nicotine formula. And lastly, as we were mentioning in the slide before this, this is not a vapor or water vapor. This is an actual aerosol. It's a mixture of harmful chemicals. 
So we're going to talk about that in some upcoming slides of how this all affects your health. Now, this is a good time for you to answer questions three through six, but we will be moving into the next section after this. You can click on the next video to continue with this presentation. Here are the key takeaways if you wanna references while you fill out your form or worksheet. So these are just some of the main points that I made in the previous slides.